Yes, 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 yes. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? My name is Dr. Sami Baya. Please welcome back to my channel. Narcissistic mother effects on you and how to handle her. The effects of a narcissist mother on her children and how to deal with her. That is the title of today's episode. What is a narcissistic mother? First of all, this is what you should know. Someone with narcissistic personality disorder or a narcissist will not and cannot change. A narcissistic mother will not change. She cannot change. For the narcissistic mother, it's all about me, myself, and I. And nobody else should ever dare to steal the spotlight from her. That is all she believes. The narcissistic mother, she believes she's entitled to that spotlight. She's incredibly self-absorbed. It is one rule for her, another rule for everyone else. That is the narcissistic mother. A narcissistic mother is unable to give their child the full attention and validation they need to feel loved and emotionally secure. And this may impact the child's beliefs, behaviors, and self-esteem well into adulthood. If your mother is a narcissist, she may seem self-sacrificing. Like someone who's always doing things for her kids and never thinking of herself. But that involvement is self-serving. She does it because she wants attention and needs to be involved in every decision. A narcissistic mother may feel entitled or self-important. She may seek admiration from others. She believes she's above others. She, she's special. She, be, she lacks empathy. A narcissistic mother exploits her children. She, put, she puts others down. A narcissistic mother is hypersensitive to criticism. She believes she deserves special treatment. <clears throat> so if you are an adult, the narcissistic mother may be too involved in your life. She might make what you do more about her than you. For instance, if you are planning a wedding, she may refuse to come because you've invited your father who probably they are not in good terms with. And when you talk or you're discussing something with your narcissistic mother, most likely she'll shift the focus back to her. In addition, a narcissistic mother may use her children to advance her own goals and wishes at the expense of the child's desires and even emotional or physical needs. The narcissistic mother can either be the grandiose narcissist who needs to be the loudest or shine the brightest or she can also be the vulnerable narcissist who has to compete about who suffered the most. The narcissistic mother lacks empathy for everyone except herself. If your mother is a narcissist, she may be emotionally manipulative and coercive. Your narcissistic mother may not see you for who you are inside, apart from you being an extension of her. Your narcissistic mother could have trouble understanding and accepting your feelings. She may get anxious or angry when she feels rejected or criticized. So let's look at signs of a narcissistic mother. She wants to control you. When you try to assert yourself, it will result in anger with a narcissistic mother. It will result in rejection and hostility. She doesn't appreciate your attempts to individuate as it means that you are going to be less available to serve her needs. Another sign of a narcissistic mother she treats her children as an extension of herself. The narcissistic mother, her children are effectively her trophy. 
everything good the children do is considered a reflection of her. That is her superior genetics. That is her hard work in raising the children. She'll keep on praising herself. And she'll even dramatize it all. A narcissistic mother can go as far as stealing someone's credit, someone else's credit. For instance, she may say that she worked extremely hard to educate her children, when in reality it is the children's father who paid for the children's school fees. A narcissistic mother, is um, her, her love is conditional. A narcissist mother is only interested in how you and your achievements reflect on her. Yes, she wants you to succeed, but only so that she can look good. The narcissistic mother may even become jealous if she feels you are doing too well, too much better than her. Sometimes daughters of narcissistic mothers may find themselves trying to be perfectionists. Falsely. Just in a way in a way of trying to win their mother's love. And they will never win it because it is manipulation. The narcissist mother loves playing children against one another. She loves triangulating her children. We all know about the narcissistic family dynamics. The narcissistic mother will make sure there is a golden child. The golden child, child is the child who is always right, who is perfect in the eyes of the narcissistic mother. And then there is the, there's this scapegoat child who will be blamed for everything else, unlike the golden child who is never wrong. Then sometimes the narcissistic mother can elect a lost child who is neglected. So by triangulating children against one another, the narcissistic mother keeps everyone in their place. So that they can work for attention from the narcissistic mother. Now, if you are the only child of a narcissistic mother, she may even triangulate you with a cousin or a neighbor. She may still play that game of golden child, scapegoat child, lost child. She may put you in competition with a neighbor, a cousin, an aunt, any other relative. Now, sign, another sign of an narcissistic mother. She'll make sure there's pity rivalry with. Uh, uh, she will. She will always be in rivalry. She'll always be competing with her own children. Never shine a narcissistic mother in her talents or appearances, unless she's the one who wants you to be like that. And even when the narcissistic mother gets older she eventually will become jealous and will try to put you down or to destroy you the narcissistic mothers love gaslighting and manipulating you they'll tell you how sensitive or crazy you are they'll try to manipulate you they'll make you question yourself have doubts fears they'll call you selfish because you've refused to spend time with them, helping them in something, behaving like a maid. And they'll blackmail you by saying you are selfish, just to manipulate you. Another sign of a narcissistic mother. They will play the Munchausen syndrome. They'll pretend to be ill. So that they can get the attention. They can be the center of attention. The narcissistic, narcissistic mother will belittle you. They'll praise you one moment. Then the mo next moment. They are hard on you. They, they are hurting your emotions. They are belittling you. They are humiliating you. In front of others. Narcissistic mothers love giving damaged goods. As gifts to their children. This in a way is to show you that you are unworthy. Narcissistic mothers are unpredictable. 
One time they are love bombing you, showing, showering, showering you with affection and love. When they want something from you. And they'll ignore you when everything is fine with her. Narcissistic mothers are all about appearances. How they appear to those whose opinion matters to them is what is most important to them. They might spend a lot of time trying to impress their neighbors, their employers, their bosses, and those people who they think or they consider worth their time. That is the narcissistic mother. Narcissistic, narcissistic mother cannot see your point of view. They'll, not, they'll be unwilling to understand you or even acknowledge your point of view. They may ignore you, belittle you, or undermine you. So, more characteristics of a narcissistic mother. She constantly makes the conversation to be about her. She'll make you feel anxious and often lower your confi confidence. The narcissistic mother will be ruthless and unforgiving, doing anything she can to be on top. She'll brag about your achievements to others, but rarely validate or acknowledge, your, acknowledge you personally. The narcissistic mother is well-liked and important to others, but controlling and harsh when no one is looking. The narcissistic mother blames others for any problems you may have that stem from her behavior. She makes you feel bad for not doing what she wants immediately. She makes you feel guilty by boasting about how much she does for you. Now, in short, you need to ask yourself these questions to see if your mother is a narcissist. Can she handle negative feedback? Does she seem overly cons concerned about how she looks to others? Does she, need to, she ne does she need you to prop her up with compliments and positive feedback? Does she need others to know she's the most overworked and appreciated or giving mother? Does she make it clear you owe her? Do you feel you need to be a certain way or achieving something for her love and approval? Does she feed off attention in ways that feel uncomfortable or over the top? If you answer many of the questions with a yes, and your narcissistic mother's behavior is consistent over time, then you can consider that your mother is a narcissist. So what do you do if your mother is a narcissist? Number one, you can set boundaries. Make sure you have healthy boundaries between you and your mother. In short, make sure you know what is fine, what is okay, and what is not fine. What is okay to do, you must have a boundary. Secondly, be calm. Don't react to your mother's insults. She may push you to act emotionally. Narcissists love when people react. They'll do anything but they want a reaction from you. Because that means they can control you. They want to feel that they can change your moods, make you angry, make you happy, play around with your emotions. So for you to have power with you, with your narcissistic mother, is to stay calm. Don't react emotionally. Plan your responses. Know when to quit when you are with a narcissistic mother. When, know when you need to exit. Then let go and accept that your mother, narcissistic mother, is a narcissist and you can't do anything about it. You cannot make her happy and be perfect son or daughter because... It's just impossible, maybe. So, let go of these thoughts. Try to accept your narcissistic mother. That it's not your fault that she's a narcissist. Remember that her hurtful words and her actions are just part of the narcissism. Another way of dealing with your narcissistic mother is to have some confidence. As you recognize your narcissistic mother's narcissism, you should also recognize your own self-worth. 
that you are important also that you have some strength with you focus on hobbies on things that make you happy things that enhance your skills and boost your confidence have a some some support system you can have a support system of of friends teachers coworkers or other family members that you are close to who show you empathy and who care about you another way of dealing with the narcissistic mother is to get help talk to a counselor they can help you understand how narcissism affects you and how you can break the cycle then step away also sometimes it may be best to have limited or no contact with your mother especially if she's very abusive or violent instead focus on the things you can control so sometimes no contact is the only way to deal with a narcissistic mother if your growth and happiness is a priority to you so what you should not do with if your mother is a narcissist don't expect an apology from her don't try to fix or heal her you can't change her personality narcissists don't change most of these narcissists grew up with narcissistic parents so they were hurt by those narcissistic parents they have no control over their narcissism so you cannot fix or heal them so don't compare your narcissistic mother to others try to have a be- the best relationship with your narcissistic mother try to find out what you love doing together then do it focus on that so in conclusion remember that signs of narcissistic personality disorder that your mother may also show include a strong sense of grandiosity that is high levels of self esteem self importance self confidence and feeling like they are superior to others arrogant attitude or behavior taking advantage of others to get what they want believing they are unique or special exaggerating achievements and talents excessive need for admiration feeling envy toward others or thinking others envy them lack of empathy fantasies of brilliance power success sense of entitlement that is they deserve special treatment just for being who they are thank you for watching this video if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel please spare a second or two and smash that subscribe button hit the notification bell as well that way each time i upload a new video you get notified about it thank you god bless you and remember knowledge is power information is power and learning is the superpower i love you all to the moon and back god bless you catch you later in the next video